so we did um, we learned how to you know find amplitude we learned how to find the wavelength frequency and stuff so now I would like to move forward and let me tell you something called uh, about something called a ripple tank okay so a ripple tank is a device that we use to demonstrate the behavior of waves okay you don't need to know basically the definition of it but it's uh, something I'll just show you through uh, an image well, I don't want to really draw this and you don't really need to draw this as well ripple tank so basically a ripple tank looks like this actually and believe me it will be in your school as well so please do ask your lab teacher to show you this and um, okay so in a ripple tank what you have is you have uh, a lamp as you can see and then there is a water surface clear screen and there is an oscillator basically that oscillates and it generates waves like these okay when the waves are generated in the screen below you see uh, this pattern okay the, the straight lines Okay. All right. Okay, so you see this this pattern. Okay. Now, this pattern is basically called these lines are called wave fronts. Now, because we can't really show many waves together, so we have to show them like this. So wave fronts are basically defined as wave front is a line that connects the crests of waves traveling together. Let's just say that. So basically what happens is, let's suppose this is a wave. We're looking at a single wave like this. And then there is another wave. This is another wave and then another wave so these are the crests right we already know that the peaks are the crests so if I just uh, connect them with the line basically these are the wave fronts do you guys understand this oh so my my wave fronts have gone <laughs> a bit rogue wait a second like this I do it with hand you know so it's just messed up let me do it again sorry first let's make wave fronts So basically it means that this is a wave like this, like this. Is it clear everybody? So the waves are going together and when these are connected by a line, basically these are the wave fronts. Now the, in, the important thing to know about wave fronts is that the direction of the wave is basically like this. So this is the direction of the wave. and basically the line this line the wave fronts are 90 degree to the direction of wave wave fronts 
are 90 degree to the direction of wave. Any questions? Please let me know. Everybody is clear about it? Okay. Now, so always remember this. So they connect the peaks and they connect with all these 90 degrees. Now, why do we need to know the wave fronts? Because with wave fronts, we can do a lot of things. Like, for example, the first thing we're going to do is to learn about reflection. Okay. So, suppose we are looking at the ripple tank screen from the top so it looks like this and then we got basically a barrier placed and now this is the drawing you got to make okay and learn how to make this as well because they're going to ask you to do this and i'm going to show you in a bit how they're going to ask you so this is a barrier so suppose that a wave was directed to this barrier from this side like this it means that you got to make the wave fronts wave is coming towards the barrier like this so now this wave which is coming this is will be called the incident wave so it's going towards that the moment it touches this you got to make a line at the same point where it strikes and this line has to be a dotted line and this dotted line is always 90 degree to the surface which is called the normal line it's always 90 degree to the surface is it clear everybody now from this line you got to make an angle so from the normal line to the incident wave the angle is i and this angle i is called the angle of incidence so angle of incidence is always drawn from normal to incident wave yes Zainab is it clear Anaya Moise yeah mm, yes sir Shavis Hussain yes, Caroline Tamushi okay and Zain is it clear Ali Soha so are you late yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, so, so can you repeat? Yes. So the first thing you wanna basically see is a wave that is going to strike the barrier, right? When it strikes the barrier, you gotta make a normal line. Wave fronts are always made, like I said, wave fronts are always made ninety degree to the direction of wave. We've already studied in top. So it strikes the barrier you make a normal line uh, which is 90 degree to the surface that's written here but the angle i which is the angle of incidence is always drawn from the normal to the incident wave is it clear up till now yes so the next yes. thing you want to do is yes Chavis. yes sir so the next thing you want to do is you're going to make you're going to reflect the wave in such a way that it gets reflected at an angle R like this. So angle R is the angle of reflection. Okay. So it is always drawn from normal to the reflected wave all right
now so then you make the wave fronts just like they were before like this you can make many actually it's fine if you want to and you see the wave has been reflected like this the most important thing in reflection is that there are basically two laws but we just need to do only one law and one of the law of reflection is that angle i is always equal to angle r is it clear everybody yes sir yes okay now let me show you a question that that they are going to give you in exam okay so this uh, basically it's uh, best that you take uh, a protractor with you uh, during the exam because you need to measure i and r sometimes sometimes you can just uh, do it with the your own you know understanding um, or he's going to check through his eye that whether you have almost uh, made the angles equal or not but it's best that you remember okay so let me just show you wait a second please okay i'm posting the question Okay, well, I need to airdrop something. Wait a second. Just a second, please. That's not very nice. Q overalls. you so let's move to I know where that might be wrong thing Okay, here we are. So, um, okay, that's the chapter. And what I'm talking about is that's not fair. Okay, so this is sort of question i'm talking about um where they say that the water wave in ripple tank is um this and they say okay i want you people to draw the reflected parts of the wave of these three wave fronts so they want you to do that okay now you see the direction of wave do you know at this point what are we going to do first who knows Uh, 
Will you make yeah. the normal line? Yes. So we're going to pick up our ruler or a set square to make a 90 degree line at this surface. Do you guys understand this? So this will be our angle I. Everybody understands this? Then what you're going to do is at the same angle, you're going to make the direction of the reflected wave like this. Okay, almost like this because he, he says just sketch it. So we don't really need to be that accurate like this. And then we just need to draw the wave fronts. The wave fronts are drawn perpendicular to the line. So like this. And only three because he says three. Do you understand now, everybody? Yes, sir. And, and also, you know, for three marks, you also need to tell them that this is the angle R, which is similar to this. So always remember these type of questions will be there and you need to remember the drawing. If you don't remember it, you will be stuck in this and you, we don't want to lose three marks in the exam, so which is pretty easy. Now let's go forward, okay? Now the next thing we're gonna do is basically called the refraction. Now refraction is a phenomena which is basically bending of a wave due to the change of speed in a different medium. Different medium could be like going from like maybe water to air or some solid or maybe shallow water, deep water like that, yeah. changing some. Uh, fundamentals here. Now for refraction, what we're going to do is we're going to learn how it works. So again, we are looking at the top of the, you guys have drawn this, right? Everybody? Please let me know if you haven't. Okay. Now, so bending of wave, now basically what we're going to do is we are going to make it into three sections. So the first one say it's deep, the second one is shallow, and the third one is deep. Who basically is a swimmer in this class? Anyone who swims. Nobody actually swims in this class. Now that's sad. Hmm. Me sir, sometimes. Sometimes, okay. So, Chavez, do you, when you swim, do you think you're faster in shallow water or you're faster in deep water? Uh, deep water. In deep water, interesting. So waves are also faster in deep water and so are in shallow water and we're going to look at that now. So when a wave, you know, comes in like this, okay. So the wave is, uh, we got to make the wave fronts. These are the wave fronts. Because wave fronts basically are the lines that connect crest. So we can say, okay, from one wave front to another, this is also the wavelength that we can measure through the wave front. So what do you do first? Anybody who can tell me what do we do first when the strike when a wave strikes the surface? Yes. Draw as a normal. Draw a normal. And normal is a line that is 90 degree to the surface like this, right? So this would be the angle I. What is an angle I? Angle I is the angle of incidence, right? And this uh, this wave is the incident wave. Now, what happens then is that when it goes from deep to shallow, its speed reduces, which means it is going to bend towards the normal. As you can see, it has, it has bent right here. So the angle R is smaller than I. Everybody agrees to this? Yes, so this angle, R is the angle of refract 
शन ओके ऑल्सो वॉट हैपन्स इज द वे फ्रंट्स बेसिकली बिकम क्लोजर टू इच अदर विच बेसिकली मीन्स दैट द वेव लेंथ हैज ऑल्सो रिड्यूस्ड ओके सो दिस इज वेन इट गोज फ्रॉम डीप टू शैलो ना वॉट हैपन्स वेन इट गोज फ्रॉम शैलो टू डीप सो कैरो लाइन इज गोइंग टू टेल अस वेन द वेव स्ट्राइक्स द सर्फेस वॉट डू वी डू फर्स्ट येस कैरो लाइन when the wave strikes a surface what do we do first we have to draw something caroline yes we have to like draw the incident reflection no 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 that's not correct the wave fronts no that's not correct okay tamoshi is going to tell us yes tamoshi what do we do draw a normal line caroline will you remember this now always yeah. okay normal line so this is now the incident wave so let's call this angle i and then what happens is when it goes from shallow to deep the speed increases so it bends away from normal like this which means that the angle r is going to be much bigger and the wave fronts will be like spaced out again and the wavelength increases like this okay now you see how the wave is bending and now we'll write it case by case so the first case was when it was going from deep to shallow and in this one the first thing we saw was that the wave bends towards the normal <coughs> anybody disagrees to this right okay and how do we know it's bending towards the normal because the angle i is greater than angle r is it clear everybody uh, yes sir yes sir and why is this happening because the speed of wave reduces when it goes from deep to shallow also the fourth thing that reduces is the wave length also reduces as you can see the wave fronts come closer okay now i'm going to ask ali ali what do you see happening when the wave is going from shallow to deep can you tell me please first point so it moves away from the normal okay the wave bends away from normal okay and then zenab what is happening to the angle um it it gets it the angle r is bigger than angle i so angle i is less than angle r not bigger right you see the diagram uh, okay then yeah. um okay so husain what's happening to the speed then Yes, sir. I know you know. Okay, Hussain is not speaking. Then Afan, what happens to the speed? The speed is. Speed is. Speed of wave increases. Very good. So that's good. And then finally. um zen okay zen what do you think about the wavelength does it increase decrease what happens stays the same um the wavelength it decreases no you see the wavelength 
increases yes the wavelength increases as you can see the spacing between wavefronts basically increase okay everybody will remember this all right sir yes Zainab. sir can you explain what the refractive index is we're going to do it in the next class Zainab. okay don't worry oh okay we're going to do that thank you mm. i mean the next chapter not the next class it's in the live chapter okay now the question is that what ha now they will always ask you this question so you got to remember this what stays the same and you're going to say the answer to this question is the frequency stays the same so moise is going to tell us what basically do we mean by frequency yes moise what is frequency uh it is like the amount of waves that pass in a, a certain amount of time in a second yes number of waves that are yeah. produced in a second so the number of waves that are basically coming from deep to shallow and then shallow to deep again they are same so the frequency in both the cases would remain the same everybody understands this any question please let me know okay now some of this has this also requires a certain amount of you know drawings that we need to draw okay in this one as well so i'm going to draw those drawings uh, i hope everybody has copied the diagram and uh, written work um, if you haven't please let me know otherwise i'll just go towards the drawing so the drawings are really important because they can ask you to draw these in your exam as well uh, when i'm doing this please follow what i'm doing and uh, you will be you know happy at the end okay now so first let's try <coughs> so i'm sorry alhamdulillah let's try this one so usually they're going to give you a box like this with a line like this and then they're going to show you they're going to say okay this is deep and this is shallow they're going to write this and one section of this will be filled with wave fronts like this okay so they 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 have given this now what do you do so they will be, they're going to say okay complete the diagram or something like that or draw you know the wave fronts three wave fronts or more in the shallow or whatever so the step one is that you will draw a direction of wave. Who's going to tell me the direction of wave is at what angle to the wave fronts? Can anybody please tell me that? Ninety degrees. Ninety degrees. Very good. So it means that I'm going to make a line just like this, which is ninety degrees to the wave fronts. Everybody understand this? Okay. So, Caroline, when the wave hits a surface, right now it is hitting a surface, what do you do first? Make the normal. Make the normal. Okay, so you make the normal. Normal is 90 degree to the surface, like this. And then this will be angle I, as you can see. So now, Soha is going to tell us what happens when the wave goes from deep to shallow. Where does it bend? Away from the normal or towards the normal? That's the question, actually. Yes, Soha? Okay, Soha is not speaking. So we got to go towards Anaya. Anaya, where, where, where does the wave bend? Where does the wave bend? B E N D. 
when it is going from deep to shallow. That's what's happening here, right? Yes, and I am. No idea. It's written on top, deep to shallow. See, what does it say? Towards the normal. So how do we do that? It's going to be just like this. Do you guys see this? So this will be angle R. Anaya, do you understand now? Yes. Then what you're going to do is, you guys are going to make the wave fronts. And how do we make the wave fronts? 90 degrees to the line. That's the direction wave. So we're going to pick this and make lines 90 degree to it like this like this only three are required generally so you just make parallel lines do you see the wave bending right so these wave fronts have to be 90 degrees to the line everybody will remember this or no Yes, sir. Okay. Now, it may seem a bit, you know, tricky in the start, but once you practice it enough, you will get it. Now, let's draw it for the other one. So, if they show you shallow here and deep here, and they say, okay, draw the wave fronts. So, they've shown you, they've drawn some wave fronts already. And they say complete the figure or something like that so now what you're going to do is first draw the direction of wave direction wave is always 90 degree to the surface like this 90 degree to the wave fronts like this so we've done that now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to draw a normal line a normal line is 90 degree to the surface you draw the normal line this is angle i and now Anaya will tell us where does the wave bend when it goes from shallow to deep. Yes, Anaya. Into the normal? Uh, to the, away from the normal? Or towards? Towards the normal. Are you sure? Read this, shallow to deep. Uh, away from the normal. Yes, will you remember this now? okay yes, sir. okay so basically the wave will bend away from the normal just like this okay so this angle i and this is larger angle r so now what you're going to do is you're going to make the wave fronts wave fronts are always 90 degrees so you can start from this line 90 degrees like this and you can always make just you know, three of them is enough. Let me make uh, this here. You can make more if you want to. But the wave fronts will be like this. Is it clear? So it will start bending this way. So you guys need to understand that this will, oh my God, this will be 90 degrees to this. Okay, any question, anybody who got confused or anybody who uh, still thinks it's not clear, please let me know. Okay. The last diagram that they're going to give you in refraction is the one where they will show you deep oh my god deep and shallow it could be vice versa as well but this time they're going to be very clever and they're going to show you wave fronts that are coming towards the shallow like 
in a straight line like this okay let me show you so they will say okay draw these three wave fronts in the shallow region so what you're going to do is you're going to first make the direction wave which is 90 degrees like this so this is direction wave now interestingly when it hits the surface you might realize that it is not hitting at an angle in fact when you draw a normal line perpendicular surface it is exactly overlapping the direction of wave do you see if this is the case then remember wave will not bend but slow down so what you're going to do is you guys are going to draw the wave fronts closer than before like this the wavelength is going to reduce the three wave and they will be closer but they are not going to bend because it, it's not coming at an angle is it clear everybody any questions okay Sir. Yes. Uh, I have forgot. Yes, Mori. Nothing, sir. Nothing. Okay. Right. Now, everybody has copied these diagrams. Please let me know if something is left before I show you what they want from you. So drawing these three diagrams are very essential. Okay, so we, we're just going to end the class in just two minutes. I just want to show you the diagrams. Now, let's look at some of the questions from the exam papers. So let's look at this question first. So first of all, in this question, they say the wave in deep water is shown. So this show deep and shallow, and then they're like, okay, on figure 9.1, to draw the wave fronts in shallow water. So, okay, let me ask uh, Caroline. Okay, Caroline, what do we do first then? When you see your so diagram. Draw the no, no, no. No, no, no. no. You have to draw the direction of the wave. Okay. Yeah, the direction and the normal. Okay, so direction is what? How do we draw the direction? Sir, right. A straight line okay 90 degrees to the to the wave fronts right so this is our direction then uh, Anaya what do we do when it hits the surface is there something you are to do we draw a normal line okay normal line is the line that is 90 degree to the surface okay will you remember this now okay so number one step draw direction of wave number two draw normal okay so this is the angle i and now uh, Thamoshi, where will the wave bend when it goes from deep to shallow? Towards the normal. Towards the normal. So it's going to be like this. So you can just uh, show it that it's bending. Uh, not necessarily, you, you don't really need to take an angle to do that. Just uh, it should be visible that you know that it should be like less r. And then what you're going to do, um, Chavez. You got to make uh, wave, wave fronts, wave fronts, yeah, wave fronts, wave fronts, ninety degree yeah. to the line, but only three are the required. Will be less. Yeah, yeah, exactly like this. One, and then another one, and another. One. How do I know the wave fronts are like this? The only reason I know this because 
I know that I have told you people that the wave fronts are always 90 degree to the direction of the wave. Do you guys understand this? It's how you do it. Okay. So that will give so, you three. Uh, so yes. Can we make more than three? You can make more than three, but minimum three are required. That's why I'm emphasizing. Okay. 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 Then uh, let's look at uh, another sort of question that I wanted to show you, and then we'll we we're, we're going to end the class. So that's uh, the same way. That's reflection. Wait a second. I saw it here somewhere. Okay, that's shallow to deep, so that's how it's going to bend away. Okay, so I'm going to give you, okay, this one. Oh, but they've already done it. They've already done it. We want a question that we want. They want us to do it. Wait. Oh, it's not there. Oh no. I have to find that question from the other PDF. Okay, never mind. So, I just wanted to show you um, that even if they haven't given us, they have given this question where you see here this one. Basically, uh, it goes from shallow to deep so shallow the speed is less wave wavelength is smaller so you might see the wavelength here is much less than the wavelength here so if they give you this question they haven't drawn these wave fronts these ones so you should remember to make uh, spaced out wave fronts because when it goes from shallow to deep it will be like that okay <coughs> 